I think this item is the most essential thing to bring. I don't trust tap water. Sue me for wanting to have a nice dorm room. Whatever's growing on the floor. Hey everyone, it's Chad and welcome and welcome back to another video. Today we have another college video and I'm super excited because we'll be talking about, also, isn't this like the biggest mason jar you've ever seen? I think it's perfect. This literally was a soup jar and now it's emptied and I use it for iced coffee. Anyways, um, I just thought that was important to share. But um, we're back with another college video. I'm super excited because it's a dorm room essentials video, which um, I used to watch a lot in the day. Um, in the day, literally like last year before I went to college. But these videos really helped me out um, in deciding what I really needed to bring. And so I'm here to share my experience like living in dorms for a year in freshman year so that you know what you need to bring to college. Okay, so I've compiled a list of 16, 17, sorry, things that I think are essential for college and that really helped out my experience. So the first essential I would say for college is definitely a Brita filter. These are going to help you out because I don't trust tap water. Sorry, I just don't. And I go to the University of British Columbia, which is in Vancouver, and supposedly our water is really fresh, but um, I still don't trust. So I recommend investing in a Brita filter because these are going to allow you to just have water, healthy, safe water on hand at all times. The next thing is a shower caddy. So depending on the type of room you have and whether or not your bathroom's like in your suite or you have to go out into a communal bathroom, I still feel like a shower caddy is important just because you're keeping everything you need with you and you don't have to like run back and forth. My bathroom was in my suite and I didn't bring a shower caddy. So I had all of my like shampoo and conditioner by the sink in the bathroom and I was constantly running back and forth, soaking wet, literally on the bathroom floor to like exchange my things because there was just like no shelf space or anything in the actual shower because it's literally the most confined space ever. And then with that, another thing you should get are like shower shoes because especially in communal bathrooms, the floors are nasty. So I think it would be best for your own health and well-being if you got shoes to protect you from whatever's growing on the floor. I feel like this is really obvious, but bring some hangers with you. You're going to need them because I'm pretty sure most dorms come with like a hanging the, the this, the pole that you hang your clothes on. So definitely bring some hangers because storage is critical. You can even bring extra storage if you really wanted to because they really don't provide you with the most. And then while we're talking about storage, I also suggest investing in a, it's like a hanging extra storage thing that you attach onto those clothing poles. I'll show you like what I'm talking about. So basically it's just this attachment that you add on to your clothing rack or whatever they give you. And you can just have a lot of extra storage, which is obviously going to come in handy. And you don't even have to just put clothes. Another essential that I would recommend is definitely some fun decor or like decorative pillows or anything along those lines. Some people may argue that these aren't essential, but sue me for wanting to have a nice dorm room. I think that they're essential and I think everyone needs a little decor in their life. Getting sick while at college is basically inevitable because you're in such close proximity to like thousands of other kids. So definitely bring along some cold and flu medicine like NyQuil, DayQuil. I got the liquid gels that came with both of those. And so you can just pop those on the daily while you're sick, not just on the daily, but while you're sick and, and so that you can recover quick because missing lectures is not fun and catching up on work is not fun. I feel like everyone knows to bring a mini fridge or at least like has it in their mind that they would like to bring a mini fridge. If you're thinking about bringing a mini fridge, I definitely recommend getting not the like mini mini square mini ones. Some of my friends had those and all you could fit really was maybe two drinks. So definitely get one that's slightly bigger. You'll definitely thank yourself later because you'll be able to fit a lot more like leftovers, fruits and veggies, even though we don't really eat those there, but you have the option to hold them in your fridge. I think this item is the most essential thing to bring is a coffee maker. So if you're like me, you need a coffee 
every day or maybe multiple every day, but it can be expensive. So having a coffee maker so that you can make your own cheap coffee is definitely an important thing to have and something that will save you a lot of money and time. So at college, you're gonna need your student card or like student ID to get into a lot of places typically or just to have on you for like buying food sometimes if it's on your meal plan. So having a lanyard can be really helpful because basically you just keep everything on there. You can keep your student card you can keep your room key. You can keep like a bunch of essential things on you at all times and it's all just on a lanyard. But I don't think wearing the lanyard on your neck is a move. I learned that very quickly while there because I realized the only people who wore the lanyard on their neck were first years. So, so if you want to out yourself like that, wear the lanyard on your neck. If not, you know, into your pocket is fine. Let it hang out a little. It's kind of a cool look. I don't know. So some dorm rooms will come with a mirror, but mine, mine did actually. But some don't come with a mirror. So if you bring a mirror, I got this one from Ikea. It'll definitely be really good because you can check on your outfit or makeup before you leave for school and um, just make sure that you're not looking busted. Cause let me tell you, I did not look in the mirror sometimes before leaving and I looked busted. So if you don't already do your own laundry at home, college is the perfect time to start. And to make that easier, you definitely will wanna have like a laundry bag or basket that you can easily put your dirty clothes in and then take it to the laundry room. I had this really nice one from London Drugs, I think. Um, if you know what that store is. Is that store only in Canada? I don't know, but I'll put it here. It had two separate like compartments for clothing if you wanted to sort it. I didn't ever sort my clothes, so I just put it in whatever. And they basically had these removable bags that you could take out and bring with you to the laundry room. And it just made everything so much easier and so much more seamless. And so I definitely recommend investing in something like that. I feel like this next item is something that you typically forget or just don't think about. Which speaking of which, I will be making a what people forget to bring to college video, which will be going up soon. So basically what I'm talking about is like cutlery plates and bowls. I feel like people really forget these just because you don't really think about it. You feel like you're gonna be eating like in the dining hall all the time or something like that. But this can be really good if you have leftovers or you got takeout or anything like that. So staying hydrated is obviously really important in general, not just at college. So having like a big water bottle can be really helpful um, to just carry around with you all day at lectures and walking around campus and stuff so that you don't have to like constantly be filling it up or anything. You can just get a big one. I have, let me go find it. Okay, I'm back. I have a hydro flask that my friends gave me for my birthday. She's really cute, see? Um, the stickers are not cute at all. They're literally free stickers that they had at Brandy. And I was like, I need, but um, actually she's kind of cutesy. But um, anyway, so this was my hydro flask and it literally had 25 ounces, which is 750 milliliters, which is, um, it's like three cups of water. So this is like a good amount of water to have with you. And um, why would I do that? Yeah, she's amazing. Get yourself a nice water bottle to carry around campus. I feel like this is obvious, but bring some command hooks because if you need to hang up anything, you're not allowed to nail into the wall. So bring yourself some command hooks, command strips, bring them with you because you're just gonna have things that you're gonna need to hang up and bring some command hooks. It makes everything a lot easier. Even if you have a meal plan, I feel like instant noodles are a go-to always as a midnight snack or I feel like any time of the day you can munch on some instant noodles. So having a kettle so that you can boil the water and just put it there makes everything easier. I feel like I've said makes your life easier so many times in this video, but it's true, these are essentials that are gonna make dorm life easier for you, so. And then the final essential of this video is a diffuser. This is my diffuser from Muji. And basically you just put in water and like an essential oil and makes your room smell a lot nicer. It's nice to have your room smelling nice, so. So I definitely recommend a diffuser. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching my dorm room essentials video. I'm so happy to make this because literally, like I said, these are the type of videos that I watched before I went to college. So it's exciting to use my experience and then help y'all out with going to college as well. So if this video did help you out, definitely leave a like and subscribe to stay tuned for more college videos like this. That'll help you with your experience. 
and um, are just fun to watch. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a great day. Oh, and also turn on those posts, the bell down below for the post notifications.